everybody, Hectix here, and welcome back to TXR Zero. Now, in the last segment, we took care of half of the game, so Speed King is completely done. So now we just have to beat the 12 or 13 Zodiacs, and then we have to deal with all the Wanders, and then the final, final boss. So, there's nothing we can do to the car, because we did put the tire upgrade on the Impreza already. So, might as well just jump into this since we can't do anything else. So, Conjo Inner, shift assist off, let us begin. Now, I should point out this episode as well as the next one are going to be a little bit more normal length. And by normal, I mean about 30, 35 minutes long. I'm uh, a little bit short on time right now, so I need an episode for the week that this goes up and the week after. So yeah, they're gonna be a little bit shorter. I'm a little bit pushed for time, so I'm not gonna, more than likely not gonna be able to record for those both of those weeks, so yeah, I do need to take care of that. I've got uh, driving stuff to take care of, considering I let my license go a little bit too far, so for those of you that are in Canada, I have to go get my G2 again which is the middle license. I don't have my full license just yet. But uh, outside of that, I start school very, very soon. Actually, the day I'm recording this episode, as well as the one after this, uh, it's the day before I go back to school. So yeah, more than likely for the first little bit of that, I'm not gonna be able to sit down and record because everything's getting situated and whatnot. So yeah, thought I would uh, bump this out a little bit sooner and just uh, have a little bit in backlog but anyway we beat our first member there I didn't quite look at who the or what team they were from now it's probably gonna take me a little bit to uh, drive to the next guy so quick jump cut here okay finally caught up to him mine a bird I think that's how you say that I do not know. I probably butchered the heck out of that. But anyway. Oh, good. Start me right behind a truck, why don't you? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I would very much like to pass you. Thank you. Take that from you. And now we go to uh, one of the death corners. <laughs> Great. Uh, he's probably going to dive bomb me here. Yep, there he is. For once, actually sliding the car actually proved to be useful. <laughs> that's uh, that's not very common, that sliding is actually a good thing and not a bad thing. Oh, understeer. Yep. I was waiting for that to catch me out at some point. Still one, though. Well, it's his fault. He rammed me and that costed uh, him quite a significant amount of his SP bar. So, sucks for him. So, who's up next? Is this person going to be C1, or is this person going to be uh, the Shinkanjo area? I'm hoping for C1, so I don't have to drive to the next arrow. Rings, yep, he's this this area, so that's good. Don't have to worry about that. And R33. There's more and more skylines now. So yeah, I am very glad to have the Impreza having the uh, all-wheel drive system and being much much lighter than the skyline even though I still prefer the skyline I was asked to uh, get my skyline again and paint it to be a Shinigami from initial D same color same body style and whatnot but I don't know if I'll end up doing that I'm probably just gonna max out this Impreza considering I could probably push close to the same amount of power the Skyline gets, very close, and I can shave off, or I've shaved off, what, a thousand pounds? Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep the Impreza for the time being. It just, overall, it's better than the Skyline in that aspect, even though, obviously, I would take the Skyline in a heartbeat, but to make the game easier on me trying to win races, yeah. 
I'll take the Impreza. I don't want to be sitting there for 20 minutes trying to do one race, constantly having to redo it. <laughs> that, that, that's not fun to do. Dark Miracle, Black Knights. Well, this is another team that didn't make it to TXR3. I don't know if they were in the previous games. I've got no clue. I haven't played either of them. So whether or not they're a TXR0 team exclusive, I've got no idea. It wouldn't surprise me, considering a lot of these teams never made it past this game, but... Oh well. He's awfully quick for being in the heavy station wagon. That's actually quite impressive. Here I thought I would just blow past him and be like, Yep, you're not keeping up with me anytime soon. Can I squeeze that? Yes. Oh. Okay, never mind. I thought that car was on the inside. Whoops. Probably cut that then way closer than I should have. Oh well. Haven't really needed to use a uh, sixth gear yet. Mostly going around in fifth. Probably could get away with, what, two more races? One or two more? Before my performance is shot to hell and I have to go back. But who do we got here? <clears throat> Excuse me. White Devil. Another Mark IV Supra. So, that should be pretty easy to beat. Oh, should be an easy victory. That's proper English right there. That made a little bit more sense. Ooh. That is if I don't get uh, screwed over by a car changing lanes at the worst possible time. Ooh, bit of a twitch. I hate how much more uh, sensitive the uh, in-person cam is compared to the third person. That throws me off so much. I don't know if I'm ever going to get used to that. But anyway, even with that little bit of a terrible, terrible driving, he's not in my mirror anymore. Which means I can probably take it easy around this corner. There we go. Still one. Tried to go around that car, but nope. <laughs> really bad driving on my part today. Anyway, let's go back to the garage. Let the car rest. Probably got one new car. Yep, thought so. And it's the wagon, okay. I think we already have a couple Subaru wagons, don't we? I could be wrong. I think we may. But anyway, outside of that, nothing new, nothing important. Let's course back in. So, Conjo enter. And let's see who we get. I don't think we're going to get a team leader on this uh, outlap here, but uh, I'd assume we would get a team leader the next day. So hopefully that is indeed the case. But who do we have here? Tune-up junkie and an FDRX7 from Rings. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, the late game is a lot of, uh, well, not late game. Second half of the game is mostly FDRX7s, Skylines, and Mark IV Supras, pretty much. Oop. Come here, you. Hey, he's got good defense. I'm trying to squeeze around him. There we go. Trying to get control of my car. Hello. Um, no, you don't. You can stay right there where you belong. In second place. Oh, there we go. At least I'm using sixth gear now. Ooh, that was cutting it close. That was cutting it probably a bit too close. Just a tad. Oh, there we go. Despite the uh, startup or the sudden hiccup at the beginning, not a neat, not a difficult victory, but still took a little bit. But uh, I'm gonna quickly jump cut to the next rival, so I'll see you in a brief moment. 
Okay, we finally caught up to him. Dark Killer from Black Knights. So I'm guessing their entire team is the uh, Wagon Impreza. So I'm hoping the team leader is going to prove to be a bit of a handful. But I, I don't know, considering how heavy the station wagon is. So uh, I, I don't know. This is probably going to be an easy team leader, but now that I've said that, Curse the Commentator is going to kick in, and he's going to absolutely wreck me, more than likely. Well, he definitely got a better run out of that corner than I did. Thank you for the bump. A little bit of a bump draft. But I had a better corner there, so I'll keep that position, and you are a jerk for changing lanes. But he did slow down. Maybe I can squeeze around him. Thank you. Somehow got a better run than he did. Ooh, yeah, that's not very friendly of you. That uh, may have costed me the victory here. Maybe. Depending on how this goes through this section, yes. Oh my god. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> oh dear. Tried to squeeze the gap around him and I cut that a bit too much. Did I not say curse the commentator? Because I thought he was going to be a pushover and my terrible driving kept getting me... Uh... I would go facepalm right now, but I can't really do that. I've got a microphone in front of me, so I can't do that. But that's definitely a face palm moment. Oh, I love it. So easy to pass him now, but God forbid before. <laughs> oh dear. Hopefully that's not a reoccurring theme for the remainder of this episode. But watch, now it's gonna be up, yeah, as I thought. Total pushover now. You just get those races sometimes, don't you? Where everything is out to make you lose. And then once you do the battle again, or the race after, it becomes extremely easy to win. Totally hate those moments. Happened a lot for me on Gran Turismo 4, Gran Turismo 3, even Gran Turismo 2 to some degree. Happens quite frequently. But anyway, Dark Crow is up next. Oh wow, they're all bunched up here. We got this guy here, one directly ahead, and one directly ahead of that guy. All very neatly bunched up together. Well, at least I don't have to drive a mile to catch up to somebody. So I guess that's a bonus. Oh, well, he's gaining, but that's because I had a terrible corner. Uh, but he's staying back there. Hopefully he stays there for the remainder of the race. Indeed, it seems like that. Don't want to swing that wide. There we go. The understeer is uh, catching me out a little bit right now. Try not to have that happen. But there we go. So did we get a team leader? I doubt it. Yeah. I would have been very surprised if I got a team leader. But anyway, we should have two guys side by side up here. So we have this one, which is Speed Drinker, a wanderer, definitely racing you if I can. I think I can actually. I believe his requirement was that I had to beat uh, Speed King. I don't know if he had anything else for his requirement, but I do know it was at least Speed King. I think I remember at least that much. I'll have to uh, check at some point. But I do believe that was his requirement, if not his only requirement. There's the rival that we were going to race next, if it wasn't a Wanderer. Ooh, yeah, definitely. Definitely catching me out a little bit, the understeer. 
but he's really, really easy. I'm surprised they don't uh, have you race him sooner, considering how easy he is to beat after you finish Speed King. But can't do anything. That's the way the game has been programmed, so I'm just going to back up a little bit here. Eventually, there we go. A little bit of lag there. I don't know. Oop, here he is. Oh, wow. There we go. A lot of turbo lag at the beginning. At least I hope that's turbo lag. I don't know if that would be traction control. Excuse me, I really need a drink right now. Okay. Oop. Wrong button. Well, that's given him a bit of a handicap. However, I should be able to catch up to him. Hopefully. Well, hitting the wall there really doesn't help whatsoever. Yeah, this section, this middle section here, is probably going to be the bane of my existence this episode. Now, let's not hit the divider this time. If I don't hit the divider, I should be theoretically okay. There we go. Don't need to cut it. Good. Nice and smooth through there, finally. Now, let's see if we can run away from him. But uh, I can see his headlights there, and they are gaining on me. Yeah, that's not a good thing. I... Ooh. That was cutting it close. Almost smacked into that truck. That would have been my race completely finished. But there we go. Victory nonetheless. Now I don't... Uh, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to go back to the garage, refresh the car, and then we'll take care of whomever's left. Oh, we got two new cars. Let me guess, they're both the Subaru wagons. Yep, Subaru wagon. And another Subaru wa wagon. Ugh, stumbled over my words there a little bit. But yeah, not very surprised right there. Although I could have sworn we did have a few of them. I don't remember. But anyway... We're almost done with uh, the little portion here in C1 Inner. Then we'll have to move on to C1 Outer. Although I don't know if uh, if I beat C1 Inner and just C1 Inner, if we're going to get a boss. I don't know about that. I would assume it would be one boss for defeating all of C1, like it was before. But it has been a little while, so I can't remember if that is indeed the case. Now, which lane are you going on? Thank you. So yeah. I would hope it's just one boss, but I could be wrong. But we have an R33 here to take care of. Shocking Slide Tail. Different kind of name. Still weird, but I've seen worse. We've actually, for those that are watching this quite often, we've all seen worse. I'm pretty certain of the... But anyway, it's good to have some horsepower now. Hopefully that makes it easier when it comes to uh, defeating the team leaders. Considering I'm willing to bet they're going to be a pain in the butt. But this guy was surprisingly easy. But, no team leader. Yet. Now, this is definitely going to take me a little bit to uh, get to the next rival, so... I'm going to do a quick jump cut here, so I will see you in a brief moment. Okay, so we finally caught up to him. Took a little bit of time, but Silver Angel. And a 300 ZX. Oh, wow. I... Genuinely expected to see a uh, skyline, considering pretty much all of rings so far has been skylines majority. Oh well, this will make a little bit of an interesting battle done. It'll make it definitely, whoop, definitely different. 
if I could actually corner. So I'm not very good at my cornering right now, and that truck. Yeah. Jerk of a truck, but there we go. Got around the 300 ZX, and I'm tapping the wall like a moron. No, 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 you stay. Aw. Maybe I can get them into this corner? Oh, okay, that's a new one. I've never seen that before. Hopefully that means I can run away. And run, and run, and keep running. Oh wow, that truck is on the inside. I was expecting him to be on the outside. That's typically where they are on that corner. There we go. That was a bit more of an annoying race, I will agree. Or I will say, sorry, not agree. I don't know, I'm, I can't get my words out today. Seems like that. Oh well. Hopefully it doesn't annoy uh, you guys very much. But anyway. Up next, I hope this is not a wanderer we can't race. Meteor. And another Skyline. An R32. Nope, that's an R33. Whoops. My bad. The front grill afterwards made me think of a 32. Okay, interesting. I really gotta pay attention just to this back uh, blinkers. The back blinkers are the dead giveaway. I knew you would change lanes. I was eyeing that car and going, you're gonna change, aren't you? And sure enough, he decided, let's change lanes now. But we've kind of left him in the dust. And he messed up. That's pretty good. I'm actually going to let the car recover here, just in case there is a team leader. Okay, there we go. Sure enough, team leader. Glad I let the car uh, reset with the AI. Because that would have put me at a massive disadvantage, probably. <laughs> Lonely Jackal. And a Honda NSX. Interesting. Well, I definitely have more horsepower than him. Considering I believe the NSX can't get more than 450, 470 horsepower. But, you know, this is the AI we're talking about. So I'm willing to bet even with that, he's going to be able to keep up with me with no problem whatsoever. Oh, wow. He's actually not doing very good. I was expecting uh, a little bit more of a fight, to be brutally honest. But there we go. 6500 bucks for that. No boss, thankfully. But we do have one more rival just up ahead. So let's see, I'm guessing this is going to be the last uh, Black Knight member. I do believe. Slow it down. Dark Varlet. I don't know if that's supposed to be Dark Velvet, Dark Violet. I have no idea what a Varlet is. I would Google it, but it's a word I'm never going to use, so I'm more than... Oh, nice brake check, buddy. I appreciate that. Still going with the brake checking. Yeah, I got better cornering than you do. There we go. But yeah, it's a word I'm never going to use, so more than likely I'm not going to Google that. However, if somebody already knows the word, feel free to let me know in the comment section. But that's up to you, it really doesn't matter. But anyway, it seems like uh, once I got around him, because he couldn't brake check me anymore, easy victory. Very easy victory. There we go. And there's the team leader. Thought so. And he is indeed in a Subaru wagon, so all of them have it. That's good to know. So if I can cut to the inside here, good. I didn't want to be behind that big truck there. You, sir, can hopefully... Nope, never mind. 
I was hoping he would stay behind me, but nope. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that, that sudden dart to the left. I guess that's why every single time I do that corner, it's so easy to get away from them. Also, his name is Sword of Dragon. Interesting. Got a, definitely a medieval theme to it, which does suit the uh, team he's named. The team he's on, there we go. And we do have a boss. Hello, Midnight Rose. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I remember her giving me a lot of trouble in TXR3. She drove into the back of the truck. That's actually quite convenient. But that's not going to last very long. She's going to come blasting past me any second now. She's a boss. I highly doubt I'm going to be able to have this much of a lead for very long. Okay, maybe I am. Oh, wow. Um, okay. That was a very easy race. I wasn't expecting to beat her in one shot that easily. Okay, I'll take it. No complaints from me. Turn back to the garage, and let's see what we got. We definitely got our car. Yeah, we got two cars. Really? She didn't give us a part? Aw. Sad face. But anyway, we got obviously the Subaru wagon and her car, which has a uh, Ferrari GTO body kit on it. And the rims are definitely taken from a Ferrari as well. So, wouldn't if I, if I were to get the 3000 GT, it would just be for that kit, but still a very heavy car. That is, if I can even actually get that kit, or if only she can have it, I don't know. But anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Next episode, we'll take care of C1 Outer. So yeah, sorry, this is definitely going to be a shorter episode than normal. Again, I'm a little bit pushed for time. So with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.